hustle culture that we're going to get into turning some, whether they're a hobby or an interest or a passion into potentially a side business, a little side hustle to make some money that kind of comes at the expense of your personal pleasure and feeling good. And you run the risk of kind of ruining what you like because you've made it into a business. I mean, I think there's a lot to talk about there. And I think a lot of people are going to have very different opinions on it. And I don't think the people who haven't tried to do it yet can really, I don't think it's fair for them to really weigh in because they, they haven't had that, ex, they haven't experienced what it is to try and turn something that is just a hobby and just something that you love into a form of compensation. I don't know. It's a very odd scenario to be in. And I'm, I'm personally struggling with it. Well, let's set the stage, okay. if we, if I may, with you. Let's go back a few years, because what we're going to get into with you personally is your passion about gardening in general, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. all of you, all these side businesses, I assume we could get into some other things today, all stem from this passion of gardening that was kind of just for fun a few years ago. And then what? Right. And then what? That's the great question. And then what? I have forever been banging my fist and saying, I'm just doing this for fun. I'm just doing this for fun. Well, there comes a point where if you're on social media, whatever your platform of choice is, if you hit a certain level of followers, community, things shift and change and your I'm just here for fun is a little bit less fun the bigger your account gets. You want to do things the way you set out to do them, and that is to engage with the people that interact with you and to have meaningful conversations and develop relationships. But how do you do that when you hit 20,000 followers? You can't do that with 20,000 people. You also don't have enough hours in the day <laughs> to do that once you right. have a certain number of people that are wanting your time, your knowledge, your opinion. And it, you, you get in this really tricky space of like, I want to be true to why I'm here and what brings me joy. And that's interacting with people. And like, I also have children and a house and a husband right. and dogs and things I like to do that are non-gardening related. Um, luckily, I don't have a job. <laughs> so I don't know how people would even consider doing that if they had a regular job. Well, and that's kind of what we're talking about in this mini series every day I'm hustling because uh, you mentioned that luckily because you don't have a job I think what you, potentially you mean is you don't have this traditional nine to five job that you're going and sitting down at a desk somewhere and then you clock out and you come home and you have fun uh, playing on the internet and getting on Instagram and in between doing all the shuttling the kids back and forth and all the regular stuff that comes with the family right but your gardening fun that was a very personal thing that you had just said like you're you're building up relationships with you know people here and there and then as your account grows there's this pressure to sustain and continue putting stuff out there and it starts out with a few times during the week to well I need to put something out there every day and then a few times a day and then, oh, but here's another platform too. So then you're doing it not only for one platform, but for another platform and then another platform. And then as your account starts to grow and just being a regular, you know, regular Amanda, I got I have to imagine that you get a lot of questions, right? You get people that'll make, put things in your comments and you are like a very responsive person. You're very nice, very helpful to everybody. I think you have, you feel this need to have to answer everybody that takes the time to leave a comment, which I think is cool. <laughs> how, I don't see how that's done. My account is a lot smaller than yours is. And there's times where I'm like, I, I'm, I post and ghost. And I know you've talked about posting and ghosting before. You're not supposed to do, to do that if you're building up community. I'm all about posting and ghosting. Uh, well, one, because... I'm an introvert and I don't want to talk to people and I'm just, it's on my own time, but you spend the time, you spend the energy and the effort to reply, respond to people in your comments, in your DMS, mm -hmm. 
as well as putting out content that I find that is is somewhat unique out there within gardening. Well, it's a yeah, job. It could be described as such. Yes. One, thank you for saying that the content is somewhat unique. Um, it's very hard. I, I feel like so many people are out there putting out gardening content that, you know, we're at the time where everybody's going to be showing their garlic harvest. <laughs> like, <laughs> Which so is what you and I just did on the exact same garlic. Yes. Yeah. And like, I mean, I just thought it was hilarious. We were actually without talking, pulling our same variety of garlic on the same day. And so how do you stand out in a sea of hundreds of thousands of gardeners all pulling their garlic in the same month um, and make yours even somewhat interesting? Uh, it, that takes effort. Answering people's comments and DMs takes a ridiculous amount of time. And I have to say, I've gotten to the point, and I said it in my stories, <laughs> that if you treat me like Google, it, hey, I'm all for you asking my opinion on something, but if you treat me like Google, you're going to get the emoji of the, the the person that's like, oh, no. like I'm done. Like I, I'm not going to sit here and answer. What does that mean? Explain. What does, if, if we treat you like Google, what does that mean? It means if <laughs> you say like, how many hours of sun does a rose require? Or can you plant XYZ in the shade? What pH soil is best for growing blueberries? Here's a picture of a leaf with a hole in it. What do you think ate it? Like, no, <laughs> no. Like there is Google for that. And Google makes money to be Google. I don't get paid. I don't know who they think is paying me to answer their questions because the answer is nobody. 